Hi everybody, I'm going to talk about Loop's feature, which is the sidechain envelope. What is a sidechain envelope? It's actually quite like sidechain compression, but instead of compressing the audio, we're going to envelope it. So uh, it's very useful for minimal house bass lines, that kind of thing, uh, where you don't actually want to compress something. What you want to do is you want to make it disappear and come back into the mix. So that's why uh, this this feature has uh, come to existence, primarily for kind of minimal house, that kind of thing. So how does it work? It uses jack ports and uh, there's a bit of routing involved, so I'm going to talk about that. First of all, what we're going to do is, uh, in the screenshot, you see the sidechain key on the left. That's a LUP output. That goes to duck as sidechain input port. So what we're doing there is basically saying, if we have a kick drum, that's what we want to root and use as the key. So that's going to influence the other track. Then we have the sidechain signal. The signal is the audio that's going to actually be enveloped or be sidechained. Then we connect the output of duck app back to the master returns on LUP. So how do we use it? Uh, pay particular attention in this screenshot to the bottom left there's a key button and we can see that that's actually highlighted in blue right now that means that track is actually sending its audio as the key to Ducca. that has the effect that if there is amplitude on this track the other tracks which I'll explain in a minute are going to be reduced in volume at that instant in time listen to the following and we can see that no side chaining is going on This time, we're going to listen to that same piece of audio again, but now with the dial above the key button on the second track turned up. This makes that track's audio output be rooted into the sidechain. So now, the bass line playing in the first clip of that track is actually going to be sidechained. Please listen. As a final note, I'll talk about Ducca quickly and how it works. We can see in the screenshots here that on the left there's the Ducca, which is not doing any compression or enveloping, and on the right it is fully active. There's three controls, the threshold, that is the threshold of the audio to make it kick in, the drop, which is the amount of reduction it will perform, and the time. The time is a BPM dependent control, which will automatically scale to LUP's internal BPM, and if it's at halfway, the beat will come, or the audio will be released exactly halfway during the beat. Increasing it will bring it closer to the next beat, decreasing it will bring it closer to the current beat. I hope you find this feature useful, until next.